Hi guys, good evening. So now let's start with the next assembly that is a plumber block, which is a pedestal used to support a rotating shaft. Okay. In this we have totally eight parts are this. This is a body. This is your cap, bearing bottom half, bearing top half, bolt M10, nut M10, lock nut M10, and a shaft. So if you go, now let's start up with. A, Uh, creating a individual part so first let's start with the first part that is the body we can see it out here this body is symmetrical with respect to its half axis so what we can do it is we can draw the half part and remaining thing we can mirror it up so if you go on with the dimension i have already written it here so let me explain it how we got those dimensions so here we need to draw the half part here so that is from here to here the dimension i need that is 168 by 2 is the dimension from here to here and this distance here given it to be a vertical is 14 mm and the horizontal is 4 mm you can give that and from here to here is the dimension which i need so that is 168 by 2 that will be around 84 mm 84 is the distance from here to here in this i need to minus the distance from here to here So here to here, he has given it to be a 43 mm. So 84 minus 43 minus 4 mm will be around 37 mm. And then uh, this height that is 55 minus 14 will be 41 mm. And next I need the distance from here to here. So that is 43 minus 44 by 2, which is 22. So 43 minus 22 will be 21 mm. and this distance he has already given it as 12 mm and this distance that will be 3 mm how we got is 44 minus 38 is 6 mm by 2 because that will be distributed on the both sides so divided by 2 that will be 3 mm is a distance from here to here and down distance he has already given it and this radius he has given it to be a 38 by 2 because he has given the diameter So from here we can draw one line of 19 mm, and then I can draw an arc, and I can close this. I mean, I can pad it out for a distance of 36 mm. This I can use it as a metric extent. That is 18 on both sides. Once if I do that, right, the rest of the thing is I need to draw all the things on the bottom side, right? So that I can see it very clearly on the top view, right? That I can clearly view it on the top view. So here, so there is a small cutout of two of uh, symmetric offset on four sides of eight mm. That I can see it from from here to here is eight mm, and this is the uh, eight eight mm, right? So what I can do is I can create a rectangle and I can offset it by a distance of eight mm so that I will be able to get this. And second thing I need to create this square of twenty mm. right and i need to cut it out for a distance of 7 plus 2 mm if you take a plane at the bottom if not you have taken a plane at here you can choose it only 7 mm and i need to draw a through hole of dia 10.5 mm and this square and this circle is at a distance of 62 by 2 and then i need to draw this profile at a distance of uh, 64 mm so that i can create it later on right so all the dimensions i have given it here So with this, we'll uh, let's start constructing uh, the part. So first, I have opened a uh, fusion, and I have created a new project, and I have created a new project, and then let me go with the design, and I will choose the front view. Once if I choose the front view, so I will take up a line command here and start up with. So the first one is the eighty-four mm. and then i will draw one line right let me go with the dimension and i have a distance from here to here horizontal distance should be 14 mm sorry vertical distance should be 14 mm and from here to here the horizontal distance should be 4 mm then i will go with the line command again and from here to here again i will go with the 37 mm and 41 mm 21 will come to a minimum so this will be 3 mm again 3 mm down 
right from here to here obviously it will be 19 mm right i will cut that i will take a pen arc by center with this point in the center from here to here as a radius i will cut one arc i will i don't need this line i will delete it up i will take up a line command and then i will join So this is the sketch, right? Let me finish this. So once when you finish that, go with the pad, or extrude, right? Go with the symmetric extends two side. Distance you can give it as 18 mm because 18 on both sides, 18 plus 18 is 36 mm, right? You can see that from here to here is 18 mm, right? Click on OK. Okay. So now, if you see the diagram, I need to cut it out here. Right? If you see it from the top view, this is a cut ocean. Now we have a flat here. Right? Let me go with the sketch. Choose the top face. Go with the arc. Sorry. Go with the arc base center point. With this point is the center. 43 mm as a radius. You cut one arc. You create a closer profile for you create a closer profile for finish the sketch. Go with the extrude, choose a sketch, right? Get it as cut. You bring it down, right? That distance is 41 mm. So I can give it to be a minus 41. Click on OK. Right? Now I need to do the fillet here of radius 6 mm. So I will go to the fillet, choose this curve, and give the fillet radius to be 6 mm. Click on OK. Right? Now all these portion, the front portion I have completed, the rest of thing what we have is at the bottom side. So what I can do it is, I can choose the bottom view. I will go to the sketch, choose this face. So for construction purpose, let me create one rectangle. Right? Then I will go to the offset, select this line, right? chain link and the offset distance should be 8 mm, so I will take it to the minus 8 mm, right? Click on OK. Now that is offsetted, so let me delete the lines which I don't need. Next thing is, I need to draw it at a distance of 31 mm, one circle of 10.5 mm in diameter, and one square of 20 mm. So now what I can do it is. At a distance of uh, 31 mm, so take up a line. At a distance of 31 mm, right, take up a circle. You draw one circle of 10.5 mm in dia and one rectangle with the centered rectangle. Choose the center, right, give it to be a 20 20. So the next one is you need to create this profile, right? So to create this profile, right, I need to first locate a center point. So what I'll do is I will measure the distance from here to here that is 128 by 2 that will be around 64 mm. So I will take one line at a distance of 64 mm and then I will draw one line of 10 mm and I will offset it by a distance of 44 mm. I have to get this points and then I can take an arc, right? And uh, need not be done with this method because the problem can be solved in a number of ways, right? I will make sure that whichever method is easier. So that method I will go that and there is no hard and fast rule that you have to do it by this method only. So now what I'll do is I'll go to the light command, right? At a distance of 64 mm. I will draw one line 
right let me zoom it a bit 5 mm right and then again i will go to the line command with the same point i will draw one more 5 mm right so you can offset it so this and this right i can offset it by a distance of 4 mm right similarly i have one more offset this and this i can offset it by a distance of minus 4 mm click on ok if required you can extend this line right to get a midpoint now go with the arc by center point with this point as a center from here to your 5 mm as a radius you cut one arc in the similar fashion with this point as a center from here to here that is 5 mm as a radius you cut one arc then you go with the line command which is this end point join this so similarly from here you take the join these two so now i don't need these lines i don't need these lines which represents me yes right so now let me finish the sketch let me finish the sketch now i will go to the extrude right so now the whole thing is to be extruded right this whole thing has to be extruded for a distance of 2 mm so i will go with minus 2 right right i will go with the minus 2 now here I have a small fillet right here I have a small fillet right that I can give it as 1 mm so go with the fillet so choose this curve give it as 1 mm as fillet or if you you can give 2 mm also right it has a full curve so better give it 2 mm right in the similar fashion this side right. now right we can see that right all the sketches already i have created but here i am unable to see it right it will be hidden so you please enable it so go to under sketches you check it so now i need to let me zoom out a bit right so now i need to extrude this circle right through cut click on ok in the similar fashion extrude it this rectangle portion right this rectangle portion as i already told that it should be right you are drawn the sketch at the bottom profile it should be 7 plus 2 that is 9 mm right give the 9 mm as cutouts click on ok right and this i will go to the extrude and this i will select it and i will through cut it out. this i will go with the through cut right so now I have created the what are all the things which are required for the bottom profile right so the next thing is i need to mirror it up right it's very easy we can mirror it up so i will go to the mirror select the profile and i will choose the mirror plane to be this right so click on ok next i need to drill one hole we can see it right there is one oil hole is there right i need to drill one oil hole but since here it is being a curvilinear profile right i am unable to drill a hole he here right so for that what i can do it because if i offset a plane here so exactly the hole will not be clear so what i'll do is i will offset 
a plane one mm extra and then i will drill the hole for a one mm extra depth for that let me go with the french wheel for that uh, i will go to the construct i will offset a plane this plane i will offset it already actually it should be 21 mm right i will take 1 mm extra that is 22 mm i will offset click on ok once it is done i will go to the create hole i will choose this plane right i will go to the top plane So let me bring and locate the hole here. Yes, I have snapped it. Right here, I need a simple hole. Right, and the simple hole, and I need a V bottom, and the total height is actually it is six mm. Right, I have taken 1 mm offset, right? That is, I can give the whole total hole depth as 7 mm with a diameter 6 mm. So, I will give the total hole depth of 7 mm, right? With a dia 6 mm. Click on OK. So, now the hole is drilled. So, now let me go with that. You can see that the material for that is. It is a cast iron, so let's assign a material. I will go to the modify a physical material. It under metal you can go with the cast iron. Right, I have iron cast. Click on close and I can create a component. So now sketch, I can disable it. this I can rename it as body so this completes the first part of a plumber block that is body in the next consecutive videos let me move on to the next part that is cap thank you